what's popping y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a hair tutorial yes not a makeup tutorial sis a hair tutorial i wanted to go ahead and show you guys my top two favorite ponytails now these two ponytails are usually like my go-to when i want something quick or i'm in between hairstyles and i want you know something that i know for sure is gonna look right i always go for these two ponytails first one is the straight haired ponytail and i just recently started doing this i think two months ago and i was just playing around and i wanted a ponytail that that was super sleek I started doing that and it's so easy y'all it's so so easy and it's less than like $15 and also the one that I'm wearing right now which is a top knot bun you can never go wrong with a top knot bun and what I love about these buns is that every time it comes out different so it's supposed to be kind of messy it's not supposed to be super neat you know you could really play around with this style so that's what I really love about it. And it's like the go-to hairstyle when it comes to buns and ponytails. So if you're interested to see how I achieve this bun, or if you're interested in, to see how I achieve uh, my straight hair ponytail, be sure to keep on watching. I will have all the products that I use in the description bar. They will be on my blog in a blog post. And I will tell you every single item that I use and where you can purchase the hair to achieve these looks. And yeah, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until next time, peace and love. I love you guys so much. Mwah. What's up, y'all? So the first thing I'm gonna do to achieve this straight hair ponytail is to comb my hair in the direction that I want my ponytail to be at. Next, I'm gonna take my gel. I'm gonna be using the Pro Style Gel. Um, you can use whatever gel that you prefer. I just like using this gel because it works and it just works well with the um, edge control that I'm gonna use later on in the video. So just put the gel all over your hair. And however much gel you use is definitely personal preference okay you can use as little or as much as you want so next i'm going to grab a brush and i'm just going to brush that gel into my hair and this is just going to help um mold the hair into the direction that i want the ponytail to go very very simple very simple <laughs> so next i'm going to grab that beeswax and it's by Murray's. It's their Edge Wax and it's their Extreme Hold Beeswax. Um, and I'm just going to put that all over my hair like I did the gel. But what I really love about this product is this is when the ponytail starts to become the ponytail. Okay? So with the gel, it was like, oh, okay. I, okay, I see you. But when you put this product on, it makes your hair super, super sleek. Like, as you can see... <laughs> yeah the, the ponytail is coming together so <laughs> this this product it makes your ponytail look super snatched so you just brush that in and just continue molding your hair to form the ponytail and make sure no flyaways are peeking through and then i grab my ponytail holder and i get this from the beauty supply um they come in like a pack of six or eight for a dollar and these ponytail holders are so bomb. It's super soft, low tension, super stretchy. I love, love, love these ponytail holders. So next, I'm just gonna comb that ponytail out and be a goofball. Like I dead ass used to wear my hair like this in high school. Oof, child. So next, we are going to split my hair in two and just wrap that around into a really, really small bun. Now I'm grabbing the ponytail. This is a drawstring ponytail from Equal. It is 24 inches. I will have all the details down below in the description box. Be sure to check it out. Um, and I'm just going to loosen it up a little bit and just plop it on my ponytail. And I'm going to just clip the little clips in 
to the ponytail and pull the string and I'm going to wrap it around the ponytail and secure it with a bobby pin. And then be sure to brush it out. Make sure your ponytail is not nappy because this is not virgin hair, okay? So, so we're not going to leave the house like this. But what we're going to do to conceal the fact that this is a drawstring ponytail is grab some crochet box braids. And I'm just going to put three of them on a bobby pin and stick them in the ponytail and wrap them around. Now you could grab a piece of hair from the ponytail and wrap it around if you want to. But I don't know. I just felt like, you know, doing a little, doing a little extra and grabbing some braids and just wrapping them around. And then I'm going to secure uh, the ends with the bobby pin. And I'm going to do this again. I'm going to grab another set of three braids and wrap that around. I find that with this style, six braids work really well. Now you can choose to use more or you could choose to use less. It's just, it's all up to you, sis. So I'm just going to wrap that around one more time. So that's basically the final look for the ponytail. Next, I'm going to move on to my edges. And I'm using this um, brush comb duo from Beauty Supply. Um, and I really like this. I used to always use a toothbrush. But this is a really soft, I don't say it's really soft. It's like in between um, brush. And it works really good for your edges. And I just grabbed that same gel I was using earlier. And I'm just going to uh, slick my edges down. I kept this part at normal speed so you guys can see how how much I take my time with my edges but um just grab a little product um and just brush your edges in the natural direction that they go don't force it they they know what they want to do just just help guide them you know they don't they don't need to be manipulated they just need to be guided so um just take your time with your um edges and just Keep playing with them so you know um, how you want them to look. I've been wearing ponytails for a while now and doing my edges, so I already know how I like them. So it's not that it doesn't take me long to do them. So just kind of play around and see, um, you know, how you like your edges so that you can knock this style out very, very quickly and not spend too much time on your edges. So next, I'm going to grab that, um, okay, Janet, uh, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, so <laughs> next, I'm going to grab that beeswax, and I'm just going to put that on top of my edges, and it's going to give that same effect that it did with the ponytail, just make it look super sleek and fleeky. Does anybody say fleeky anymore? I don't think so. It's like 2019. I think we kind of retired that word in 26. Okay. okay. So I'm going to take my got to be free spray and I'm just going to spray that all over my hair and I'm going to wrap my ponytail with a scarf. Now, if I wear this style like the night before, I usually just go to sleep with my scarf on, but you just need to wear this for like 10 minutes just to lay everything down. So just set your timer, go do a little task real quick and then... 10 minutes later, you come back, take your scarf off, and everything is snatched and in place. So that's how I achieve my sleek high ponytail. So for look number two, it is the top knot bun. Um, so I'm just going to start off with that um, little small bun. And I'm going to take some cankalon hair. This is just regular braiding hair. And I found that the longer the hair, the higher your bun will be. So um, I'm just going to wrap that around that ponytail. And then I'm just going to grab the two sections and start twisting the first section around that bun. Now this first section is going to create the foundation of your bun. So you just want to lightly twist it and wrap it under. Every time you twist, you just wrap it under. But don't twist it too tight 
because you don't want your ponytail to be super tight and I'll let you know in like 30 seconds why so just kind of create the foundation for your bun with this first section now with the second section we're going to create the height so you're going to do the same thing you're going to twist it um, and then wrap it around um, and then you're going to continue to tuck it under now the reason why i said to not make your first section so tight is because the second section is where you can start making your bun tight if that makes sense this is a more visual <laughs> visual tutorial than it is um understanding what i'm saying verbally but don't make your ponytail too tight y'all because you will regret it at the end um especially if you want a high ponytail you're going to be wrapping your hair um around the bun a couple times so just play around with it see how high you want it see how tight you want it um but just take it easy like do not make this too tight because you will have a headache in less than 30 seconds of wearing this hairstyle so i'm just going to grab some bobby pins and i'm going to just stick it in the places that aren't as secure um just know that every time you do this style it's going to come out different i don't know top top knot buns they just have their own mind so just play around with it see how you want it to be how high how short how wide just you play around with it um so i'm just going to spray a little bit of hairspray on the bun and that's basically it so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and let me know which one is your favorite down below and if you try this look send some pics my way because I want to see